Welcome to week four of the Acadiana Post Game Show in the high school football forecast. I'm your host, Greg Larner. All right, let's take a look back to week number three for your player of the week from last weekend. I've got to look to Cecilia after an 0-2 start needing a win badly against Crowley. They got just that. They defeated Crowley 34-16 and running back Donarius Jornet was a man amongst the boys. 240 yards and two touchdowns. He was the spark that Cecilia needed. All right, let's take a look around week four in the high school football landscape. The first game that I'm looking out for, it's got to be Brobridge at Eunice. Both teams 3-0 coming into this matchup. And for Brobridge last week, coming off of a big revenge game against St. Martinville, in which they got the win 39-19. Coach Porcio said, look, I I've taken over the play calling duties, but my skill position players have made it easy on me to do just that because... You call the play, and they're going out and executing it perfectly. And for the offensive line for Brobridge, they had to work in four new starters this year on the offensive line, but things have been working beautifully so far. And for the Bobcats of Eunice, it's been all about the offense. They've averaged 46 points per game. But Coach Trostclair said, look, I'm most impressed with the defense right now because they had to replace nine starters from a year ago, and they've done a great job, obviously, with the 3-0 start. A couple of guys to watch out for. On the Brobridge side, it's got to be quarterback Gavin Corville. He's thrown 550 yards, six touchdowns, no interceptions, that's been impressive. And on the Eunice side, it's gotta be running back Dion Arwen, who's rushed for 320 yards and five touchdowns himself. All right, the second game I'm watching out for this week, it's gotta be Southside at Barb. Southside, surprisingly 3-0 on the year. The Barb Bucks, 2-1. For Southside, this is gonna be a big test because this opens up district play for the first time for the Sharks in 3-5-A play. Their quarterback, Dylan Monette, has been really, really strong this year. 630 yards passing, seven touchdowns, only three interceptions on the 3-0 start. But as I said, it's a stout Bucks defense. It's gonna be tough for Monette to get going in this game. We'll see how he fares offensively. Coach Fontenot said, hey, look, this is gonna be a big test for our guys to see where we are as a team and as a program. And for the Barb Bucks, they got two convincing victories, one against LaGrange, the other one against Catholic High New Iberia, sandwiched between a loss to STM. But again, can you really blame them? It is STM. Other than the STM game, the defense for the Bucks, if you throw that STM game out, they're only allowing 18 and a half points per game so far this season on defense. And our final game, it's our game of the week. You can hear it on News Talk 96.5 KPEL. It's the Turlings Rebels hosting the Notre Dame Pios. Both teams 3-0 on the season. First for the Rebels. Big shutout victory against Opelousas last week, 42 to nothing, in which the team had six rushing touchdowns on the week. It, it was basically a, a night off for Samuel LeBlanc. Didn't really have to do much uh, offensively, but against Notre Dame, I'm sure he'll have to come out throwing and have to go up against that tough defense. And that's the big question mark in this game for me. How will Samuel LeBlanc in the running game, how will they fare against the tough Notre Dame Pios? defense. And for Notre Dame, they got a win against Como last week, 28-13. Running back C.J. Thibodeau, he's been a beast this year. 440 yards and five rushing touchdowns on the year. And the big question is, can this Turlings Rebels defense slow down Thibodeau and the Pio's offense? And that's going to do it for week four of the football forecast right here on the Acadiana Post Game Show. I'm your host, Greg Larnard.